Hi everybody, Nathan Ronan, CFA here. Hope everything's going well for you. Um, this uh, little segment is for level three candidates only who are taking the exam in February 2023 or August 2023 and beyond. Okay, but really mostly with the focus of the next exam cycle for level three, which is February 2023. Um, the CFA Institute came out with some format changes for the uh, 2023 level three exam compared to the 2022. I'm gonna go over these, but before I do, what I'd like to ask you is, if you like what you're hearing and you'd like to continue receiving these updates, please press the subscribe button now. And if you have any comments about this uh, segment or this video, please feel free to put them because we're always interested in hearing your feedback. Okay. And also, if you could press the notifications button so you can continue receiving these updates, that would be great as well. Okay, so first of all, even though there are format changes to the level three 2023 exam compared to previous years, this should not scare you. The curriculum is still the same. The CFA Institute froze the level three program from 2022 to 2023. Same learning outcome statements, same readings, same everything. All that's changing here a little bit, and this should not impact the way you're studying, this should not impact the way you perform, is a format change in the way the exam is gonna be administered. You still have an exam that's gonna have session one and session two, still the same way. Okay. Now in 2022, and this is what happened, you had in the first session, all of your essays, all the 11 essays. And then in the second session, you had 11 item sets or vignettes. So that was the format in 2022. So what's the change in 2023? Well, first of all, the look of an item set and the look of an essay is not going to change. Again, I say that is not going to change with the February 2023 exam or even the August 2023 exam. The item sets will still have a vignette and they'll be followed by four multiple choice questions, okay? So keep that in mind. The item sets, which is, go, uh, is gonna have a, a, a story with four multiple choice questions. And the essays will also have a vignette followed by a varying number of essay questions, typically three or four. Is that really a big change? No, in the past, they used to have a vignette or an item set with six questions or five questions. Now they're keeping it at four for the, for the item sets. And then the essays, they used to have also a story with part A, part B, part C, part D. Does that change much? No, now it'll just be one, two, three, and four based on the essay vignette, okay? So what will change, and this is what's important maybe for you, is what will change is how they are presented, okay? Now, as I said before, in 2022, it was 11 essays in the first session, followed by 11 item sets in the second session. The first session was two hours and 12 minutes, and then the second session was also two hours and 12 minutes for a total of four hours and 24 minutes for the exam. That hasn't changed. So what is actually changing? Now, in the first session, in the first session, rather than having all essays, you're going to have random essays and random item sets, okay? So I'll say it again, beginning with the February 2023 exam, the essays and the item sets will be mixed in each session with either five or six of each type within the session, all totaling to 11 per session. Now, again, I'm not trying to confuse you here. So what can happen here is rather than take the first session, rather than having the traditional 11 essays in a row, now you're going to have maybe five item sets and six essays. Now, the five item sets and the six essays in the first session are not gonna be five item sets and then six essays. They will be presented in a random way. So you might have, for example, that the first one is an essay, the second one is an essay, the third one is an item set, the fourth one is an essay, the fifth one is the second item set, and so on and so forth. So it can be presented in a random fashion. So every candidate taking the exam it is probably gonna have the same questions, the same essays and the same item sets, but they're just gonna be presented in a random order because the computer can provide it that way. 
Okay. So again, I'm just going to say there will be no uh, set order within a session. It'll all be, if you will, randomized. So again, one candidate may receive an item set first, followed by an essay, while another candidate might have an essay first, followed by an item set, and so on. But at the end of the day, in the first session, you're going to have five or six essays and five or six item sets, totaling 11 in the, in the first session, and then again, 11 in the second session with either five item sets or six essays, okay? Now, in addition, again, this is the last point I really want to make about this is essay questions are no longer going to be embedded in the vignette. There's going to be a series of tabs on the exam, and the first one houses the vignette, followed by three or four tabs numbered one through three or four that house the question and the response box, okay? Now, with the essays, all essay sets are worth 12 points. So in the computer-based testing, they'll no longer tell the candidate, meaning yourself, the, uh, the further point breakdown by question. So for example, if you have an essay and it has four parts, let's say just for argument's sake, A, B, C, and D, A, B, C, and D are worth 12 points, but they're not gonna tell you how much A is worth, B is worth, C is worth, or D is worth. It's just gonna be 12 in total. It, uh, but they could be anywhere between three to six points each, okay? So you might have three, 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 and three, or four, three, three, and whatever, that all total 12 points. So all essay item sets, all essay sets again are worth 12 points. So again, in the computer-based testing, where they're no longer gonna tell you, the candidate, what each part or the breakdown of each essay is gonna be in terms of the number of points. And again, they will generally range anywhere between three points to a maximum of six, okay? So this is the key points to keep in mind. Now, if this is confusing to you, it really shouldn't be because you're not studying for a format of an exam. The actual presentation is still going to be the same, essays and item sets, just randomized. And, and each one will be worth a certain number of points for the essays, but they're going to be a total of 12 for each essay. And again, the item sets, you're going to have four questions for every item set. So you have to make a big uh, question to yourself. Are you going to study for a format? Are you going to study for uh, the way an exam is presented? Or are you going to actually study the substance, which is the material and the content? Because if you know the content and you know the substance, you shouldn't have any problem answering whether it's asked as an item set, whether it's asked as an essay, whether it's asked as a subpart of an essay, whether it's going to be the first question of the day or the eighth question of the day. It really doesn't matter. So please don't get distracted by all this noise. All I'm trying to do here is give you a little bit of an indication of what to expect so that there's no surprises on exam day. But again, whether you pass or fail this exam will be all based on your understanding of the content in the curriculum and then your application of that content to the essay questions that are asked and the item set or vignette questions that are asked, okay? So keep that in mind. And again, don't study for the format, study the content and make sure you're able to answer the questions and, pres and provide the answers the way the graders are looking for them, especially for the essay section. And if you need practice with that, I really advise you, and here's a big suggestion, join my essay mock exam workshop, either live or on demand, so that you can get your essays graded and you could see how graders actually grade them and where you're getting your points and where you're losing the points because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna help you to pass the exam or cause you to fail the exam, not whether you had an essay first or an item set first on the exam. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, reach out to me at Chalk and Board. I'm at chalkandboard.org. And I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Good luck on your exam, whether you're taking it in February or in August. And again, don't get caught up in the format. Focus on the content. Bye.